Hello, my name is Deborah Flora. While I was a Vindicator reporter, my byline was Deborah Shawless. Um, I hope that people tonight will take this opportunity to express the value that they see in local media and the stories that are reported by our people about our people. We, if we've been remiss about anything, it's that, and right now is the time to speak your piece. We've got to decide now. Todd Franco just wrote an article in The Vindicator on June 23rd talking about circling the silos, that one of the ways we flex our muscles is that we only know how to come together when we need to. We knew how to come together to get President Tressel to YSU. We knew how to come together to get House Bill 70 passed. Imagine whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, he mentioned just as an example what we could do now that we have Tim Ryan running for president. I'm not trying to get political and neither was he in the article. He mentions just as an example. I can't sleep at night thinking about the fact that in Youngstown, we cannot deliver a baby in the city limits. And yet we sit back reactively with ideas on waiting for some savior to come through. And I'm speaking from an action standpoint that says stop deciding one or the other and choose both and get your phone out right now and go to the Vindicator website, scroll all the way to the bottom and hit subscription. The thing that I think is a central problem that maybe we're not talking about is not enough local people bought a local product. I think about myself and I had a weekend subscription but not a daily subscription. I, buy, I have a GM product but I don't drive uh, what's made out at the plant. And if we shifted our dollars to making those type of decisions, would we be in this position today? What other places are gonna close because we don't spend our dollars the way we could? And the thing that I don't hear enough is this isn't a problem that just affects Youngstown. In fact, I think the Vindicator dropped the Youngstown Vindicator title a long time ago. It affects us in Liberty, it affects the suburbs, it affects up in Warren, and I hope whatever we do to re try resolving the problems, it's seen on a regional basis. So much of the time we're so parochial and looking at things in just a that Youngstown problem, where this is something that has to be addressed by the whole valley. I think this is a good opportunity for us as a valley to start planning how we want to see the valley to look. So it needs to be more comprehensive. When our communication source breaks down and we no longer have the Vindicator, that's a sign. When you can no longer get a commercial loan from a bank in the city of Youngstown without it being government subsidized, that's a problem. When we, know, we still have an exodus going on, and so we're going to have to do something that's going to shape the whole valley more than just a, with a fix with the Vindicator. We're going to have to fix us. Print journalism has a unique value that digital only could not fill, um, even if it were financially sustainable, particularly for the elderly population that might not have access to online. But beyond that, just as a civic function, print journalism um, has, a, has a special value. And so I, I wouldn't want to see a digital only model pursued because it could also impede the efforts of whatever else could um, potentially help fill that void in particular if the Business Journal or Tribune Chronicle or the Review were to try to expand their print model and uh, investigative efforts in Youngstown, um, a, a digital only could, could hurt that effort. We need to keep in mind that, that uh, one of the people who spoke already said we have to have a financially sustainable model. And that's a hard number right now today. Uh, I would not look down at all on the Browns for having to make this uh, choice. I can't imagine having to be in that situation where their family has published this newspaper for 150 years and have to say, I got to close it. If you think that was an easy decision for anybody, I suggest that uh, it isn't. It would not be. And I'm dating myself, but the jingle at one point for the Vindicator was the Youngstown Vindicator has its eyes out for you. The Vindicator has the news. And we've had a devastating year. I don't have to tell anybody with GM and Northside Hospital. We cannot lose this paper.
I just couldn't believe when I heard that the Vindicator was closing down. I, as a kid, started reading the Vindicator when I was in the sixth grade. And when my kids got old enough to learn how to read and write, they learned off the Vindicator. The Vindicator really did give me my foundation. I delivered the papers from when I was 12 years old to when I was 16. And then shortly thereafter, graduating high school, I would go on to the United States Army. But the, the Vindicator gave me my foundation. The very first time I was published was in the Youngstown Vindicator in something called the mini page. My mom and my dad were so excited about this poem that I wrote. And my teacher, who is Ruth Forsythe, who is still, you, if you look on the NIE list, her name is still there. And this was back in the 70s. This is what started me writing. And when I give tours at WFMJ, I tell them that it can be a Get Mogged tour. Get Mogged, go to the Mog Library, go to the Vindicator, and then come visit us at WFMJ. I like writing, I always have, and that's why my, my, that's where I've ended up. And I want you all to know that as a little girl in the 70s, to get published in the Vindicator was huge. Even if it was the mini page. It was interesting, somebody mentioned how much stuff goes into putting in a newspaper. And so I did some quick math, and as editorial page editor for more than 20 years, I spent about 4,000 hours, which is half of a year of my life, 50, you know, 25, 25 weeks, uh, of seven days a week, 24 hours a week, doing candidate interviews. So <laughs> that's one small part. So I mean, when you talk about what's involved, there's a lot involved, and there are a lot of people here that have been involved Nobody quite as long as me, <laughs> but I, I, uh, I hung it up in 2013. Um, I do want to say that in uh, speaking as much as I can for my former colleagues and some who are there after I've, after I've left, you know, we do appreciate the, the level of uh, esteem that you have expressed tonight for the Vindicator, for the job that it did. Uh, for the job that it will do for another 59 days, I can assure you. Uh, I've talked to people, they said, you know, we're just going to work up to the last day, doing the best we can, which is what most all of us did for 20, 30, 40 years. And uh, it's nice to know that you recognize that, you recognize it tonight. And uh, on behalf of, of all of us and some who can't be here, thanks. <laughs>